What is up, people? My name is John Loves Anime, and welcome back to a brand new video. As I give you guys some board games anime. Now, when it comes to these anime, mostly they be featured within the traditional style board tabletop games. You know, for example, like chess, checkers, um, one game called Mahjong, I hope I pronounced that, or any others that you could think of around the world. Now, these anime storylines mostly kind of features, you know, them playing these games within French just for fun times, or when it comes to going into some kind of a national competition, or within some kind of win-win situation. However, there'll be some that goes within the underground. And sometimes there'll be ones that kind of goes over the top, you know, when it comes to mystery. You may never know. So, without further ado, let's start the summer with some board games anime. Let's do this, people. So the first anime I talk about is Hikaru no Go. Now, this anime involves around the Go game, which is a book, which is a table board game, which probably you could say is over 3,000 years old. Now. This anime is about Shindo Hikaru, who is a 12-year-old boy, and he ends up, you know, had his allowance cut. You know, the sad day for a young boy. However, when he goes to his grandfather's garage, you know, rummaging through things to hopefully find something to sell for money. However, when he picks up this gold board, he ends up being fined that he it is inhabited by a ghost of a genius gold player from the Heian dynasty called Fujiwara no Sai. Now this ghost in particular, uh, was he was a really good player at the time when he was alive, however he committed suicide and he has been in prerogatory hoping to one day find something to have for him to play Go once more. Now within this whole anime you see to find out that you know Hikaru let Sai play by moving the stones for him and his ends up the main protagonist starts to fall in love and ends up being in a competition. Now, within this whole anime, I find really something that I really love. The soundtrack, I find it wonderful. It really fits the scenes pretty well. Um, the animation, uh, well, it does have some frame reuse, but again, it's made by the same artist who did Death Note, and I really liked, you know, the animation. And as well as one of the reasons why I love about this anime is Sai, who I find to be one of the best anime characters that I have watched within my time. One of the reasons is because, you know, he's lovable, smart, funny, and honorable, and he really shows amazing passion and patience within Hikaru's mood and childish. And he also not only be a friend, but as well as being a teacher and a mentor from nothing to greatness when it comes to uh, this anime. And it really does have a big heart. Now, this anime I really like um, about it, especially that this anime does also have some multi-layer philosophy for those people who kind of want to find some anime that has philosophy. This one will have a lot of it. So if you haven't watched this anime and you want to watch an anime that involves with board games and it's really, I consider to be a masterpiece, I really recommend to check it out. So the next anime to talk about is The Legend of Mojong, Akari. Now, when it comes to this anime, you know, I bet some of you have not even played Mojong. I haven't played Mojong. So this anime would be probably confusing, but trust me, when you watch further within the anime, it will understand you perfectly of what Mojong is about. So what we have is our main protagonist, name of Akari. Shigeru, who is a 13-year-old daredevil with an unknown background who is really well known when it comes to a tricks and on the game itself. Now, he stumbles upon in a Yukaza quarter right in the midst of a Mahjong battle. Now, as the narrator stage, which this anime does have narrator, and some people would kind of get bugged about it. But anyways, as the narrator states, this is a birth of a new legend. And when Akari has never played Mahjong in his entire life, yet he has been taught the basics and as well as, you know, giving some round tests. Now, he appears to play like a professional already within his anime and within the whole anime itself, you kind of see his career life as an underground genius playing Mahjong, uses clever strategies as well as dirty tricks to win his games. Now, what I like about this anime is that this layout it reminds me of some strategy anime shows such as Death Note, No Game, No Life, and so forth, that they have to think really hard to find out what they gotta do to win the game and end up doing some dirty tricks to end up finding, you know, the answer to the winner. 
Now, the art style itself, I really like. The soundtrack, I really like. But there were some things that I would find really kind of eh about it. I would say that, you know, the show does have a narrator for those who don't like narrators just talking about it in the background. You know, and he talks a lot. You know, the main protagonist kind of talks a lot. And he has his nasal close to soulless soul. And, sir, sure, sometimes it kind of ruins the effect of the drama that takes place. The characters themselves, I really like when it comes to their distinct style of acting. I really like about the characters, and the overall enjoyment, I really like about it. Because it's been a long time since I watched this anime, and it really does have, as I rewatched it, really does have this kind of sense of giving you the grasp of what this anime is going to happen. So if you're looking for an anime and you're kind of a fan of Mahjong, and if you want to know an anime about Mahjong, I recommend to check it out. So the next anime to talk about is Shion no O. Now, this anime involves with a story of Ayusuka Shion, who is a 13-year-old shogi player with a past of tragedy. Now what happens is that when she was 5 years old, her parents were brutally murdered in front of her. And the thing about it is that the murderer sat down with her and challenged her to a game of shogi after telling her that if she wanted to stay alive, she should forget how to speak and forget what happened that night, which resulted, to, resulted of her growing up to be mute. But within her determination as well as within the anime experience as you watch, she plays the game of Shogi to understand and to solve the questions as of about her past as well as about the brutal murder she witnessed as well as, you know, unravel the mysteries of who is the murderer and what has been going on within her past that makes her questionable. Now, the anime itself really does well of the animation, the soundtrack, the characters themselves, and overall, the enjoyment is really great. So if you haven't heard of this anime, I recommend to watch today. So the next anime to talk about is Saki. Now, this anime, I'm going to go through a slice of life kind of thing, and it does have another game of Mahjong. So what happens is the premise of this anime evolves around with Saki Miyanaga, who is a high school freshman who finds herself participating within the school's Mahjong club, even though she hates the game, you know, she hates it. Now, though she is a very skillful player, you know, there are some bad memories of playing with her family has left a bad taste for the game with her, you know, kind of like a bad taste of a tongue. But, however, she finds playing with people other than her family is you know, fun and her love for the game begins to be rekindled. Now, Saki and her new friends, you know, sets the sights on making it to the National Mahjong Tournament. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, with Heat Bike, it's the goal which dominates the plot. Now, within this whole anime, you know, sure, you know, Saki does, you know, a good job, you know, in my opinion, you know, creating the drama as well as the action of something that isn't in reality exciting. Now, the characters are animated making special finishing moves, you know, when completing important hands, and it's also some have special powers to intimidate or confuse their opponents. Now, <laughs> I mean, I don't be expected a lot of realism with this anime, but, you know, both in terms of gameplay and the plot and the players themselves. Now, I would say that besides the game action, you know, there is a fair amount of character development, as well as, you know, it does have Yuri-themed romance, for those of you who like some Yuri. And, you know, what I like about this anime is that, sure, it does have a lot of things good about it. But, in my opinion, you know, other characters are being mixed, you know. There are some things that I like about the anime, and there's some things that I kind of don't like about the anime. But, um, for example, you know, sometimes, you know, it does get corny, corny when it comes to the character development. Um, as well as well, sometimes the animation quality within during the time, it, got, it can get poor at times. But not often, just to let you know. Not often, but sometimes the quality drops. And as well as, you know, having a large cast of characters with a lot of different personalities. Eh, sometimes, you know, they'll be, um, six, you know, giving a lot of the characters reasons to move forward and continue playing. And sometimes there are some that can get a little corny. Um, but yeah. But this show overall is so much fun to watch at the same time, you know, you know, some, you know, some slice of life here and then. So, if you like about, if you like this anime, if you like some, 
you know, Mahjong anime, as well as the part of Slice of Life and Drama, and as well as Subiuri, I recommend to check it out. So the next anime to talk about is Shoubushi Denitsu Tetsuya. Now, for those of you who like Mahjong, this is another Mahjong anime. At the same time, this mostly involves within the gambling world as gamblers. Now, the story is involves a man named Tetsuya, who is a very skilled gambler within the city of Shinjuku. Now, the city is kind of in a struggle. Now, what happens is the country of Japan is in the process of recovering its economy after the events of World War II. Now, Tetsuya is one of those few people who had steady income from winning a game called Mahjong, which came from Japan, China. Now, however, you know, one day he meets a man who teaches him that gambling is more about the skill. It's about the state of mind and about cheating and get away with it without getting caught, you know, playing dirty as you're as you can say. Now along the way, Tetsuya learns that in order to survive, you have to become cruel and ruthless within the gaming world and the gambling world. Now, within this whole anime, you soon find out that the story shows that how Tetsuya first starts it all the way to where he has become a legend within the gambling community. The art style itself, I really find it really lookable and likable because, you know, it's made within the early 2000s and just for me, I like the old school animation. You know, they did a good job with, you know, with the characters, the background, the skies, and even to the waterers and bars. Now, the soundtrack itself, I really like about how they do, and as well as the voice actors, in my opinion, they did a really good job with it, the performances, as well as the roles that they played for each of their characters. Now, the characters themselves, you know, it does have a variety of characters, from a range from likable to unlikable, but again, they perform their roles very well. Now, what I like about this is that, you know, this anime really shows that the game of Mahjong can be as epic as any other fighting, martial arts, gaming, and sports anime genre that you could see. Now, <laughs> just me, I like how when it comes to a game, I like how some people can find the skills and cheating and strategies to kind of, you know, outsmart your opponents. See, if you want to look for an anime that does have Mahjong, you know, the gambling world, at the same time, you know, some anime that involves with, you know, finding a good character development as well as to learn more about I recommend it check it out oh why not I'm gonna add an anime that has not even been released it's going to be released as a fall of 2016 name of three Gatsu no lion now this anime this anime is going to be made um, from the manga from the mandaka who is actually a name of Chika Umino who is the creator of a very successful series called Honey and Clover. Now, this anime is about a life of Rei Kiriyama, who is an introverted, quietly awkward boy that has been through so many traumas in his past. And a lot of the times when I read the manga, you know, it, hate, it made my heart swell. I mean, honestly. And he is also a professional player of a Japanese gold board game called Sogi. Now, which gives him the earning of making a living on his own. Now, he barely has any friends, and he does have, you know, some acquaintances, which is a family of three sisters, a young na woman named of Akari, and two young girls named of Hinata and Momo. Trust me, not that Momo, but that they lost their parents too, and also keeps a numerous number of cats. Um, Welp. Now, another person he knows from the Sogi competitions is Hunobu. Uh, Harunobu, who, which declares he is Rei's best friend, but Rei thinks otherwise. Now, what I like about this manga, which the art style itself, I really like, you know, uh, Chika is a beautiful artist, which I would find a lot of fresh creative ways, you know, that I see throughout the character designs, you know, she is has this such a unique style that is so sweet. You know, she puts a lot of detail in her work. At the same time, you know, the characters are so thought out that I feel that they feel so human and genuine with so many different kinds of personalities when the series, you know, it's mostly you grow, fall in love with them. And it's really good and manga in my opinion. 
So, if you want to read a manga before the anime, which will be released in the fall, um, if you're looking for an anime that is insightful, touching, sweet, funny, educational, and wonderfully enjoyable, I recommend check this anime out. And that is it for me today, people. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. Give this video a like, favorite, share, click right there to subscribe to my channel to be part of the awesome crew. This is some awesome videos. Um, sorry, this is a short anime list. I mean, I want to think of something that you know a lot of you guys haven't even heard about at the same time you know some genres as well as some anime topics within an anime list that is never even talked about at the same time that no one even brought up about it so that's what I'm trying to do within the summer that is to bring in some anime list that has not even talked about it. at the same time it has been rarely spoken of so um, this is one of them so I'm working on others um, Currently, I'm trying to work on this big project, which is going to be a top 10 anime list, but I'm trying to make it into a really awesome list for you guys. At the same time, that it's going to be really, really fun to do, really fun for me to do. At the same time, you know, I'll be, you know, working on it, a lot of it. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and oh my god, I mean, we're almost to 200 subscribers. Or even over well, by the upload of this video. I mean, thank you guys so much. I mean, you guys really mean the world to me. I mean, you're the reason why I make these videos. At the same time, you know, you're the reason why that I love doing these videos. So, just let you know that you're awesome. So, remember people. Jobs Enemy, signing out. Remember people. Stay awesome and love you all. See you guys in the next video. Peace.